Here we're going to be looking at acid catalyzed reactions and we're going to be making a distinction between what we call specific acid catalyzed reactions. That's what you're used to thinking about, where protons are fully transferred to reactants or intermediates. And this is going to take place prior to the rate determining step. This is what we're used to, it's what we learned about when we talked about that ester hydrolysis mechanism. In order to accomplish specific acid catalyzed reaction mechanisms, we require a strong acid in order to fully transfer that proton. Alright, let's take a look at what's new. What's new is the term general acid catalyzed mechanism. And in a general acid catalyzed mechanism, we can accomplish this with a weak acid. And the reason why is because the proton transfer is only partial. It's taking place during the rate determining step. And if something is taking place during a step, that means it must be happening at the transition state. There's going to be partial bond making and bond breaking to the proton. And so we're going to see that that's happening, that proton transfer is happening in the rate determining step and our transition state will need to show that bond forming and bond breaking. Okay, so this is uh, a mechanism that can operate just as we saw in the case of uh, the specific acid catalyzed hydrolysis of esters. It also can, the general acid catalyzed mechanism can operate for ester hydrolysis as well. So let's take a look at that. The mechanism is going to show up with some differences in the way that the curved arrows are drawn. So in the general acid catalyzed mechanism, the key thing is this simultaneous nucleophile addition and proton transfer. So we're not going to fully protonate that carbonyl. We're going to protonate that carbonyl while the, while the nucleophile adds to that carbonyl. So let's look at the arrows. We have our nucleophile. It begins to approach that carbonyl group and that partial and that carbon oxygen double bond becomes a partial bond and so in other words as we add that nucleophile into the carbonyl that pi bond is breaking and we're going to use that pair of electrons to pick up the proton what's the result of that look at that curved arrow carefully and the result of that is that we'll have a proton added to the oxygen and we'll have the carbonyl added in we require three things to come together water, carbonyl, and proton. So the result of that is that tetrahedral intermediate with the nucleophile added and the proton added to what was the, the carbonyl oxygen. So we've accomplished in one step proton transfer and nucleophile addition. That's the key point of general acid catalyzed mechanisms. If you get that step down, basically everything else that follows is straightforward. We're going to do a proton transfer. We'll get this neutral intermediate shown here. That's going to, and then here's another key step of general acid catalyzed mechanism. We're going to do our beta elimination. Simultaneously, we will break the carbon oxygen bond and pick up a proton to immediately get to this neutral methanol, methanol molecule. And so you can see as another example of simultaneous protonation and expulsion of the meth methanol group that the proton transfer is only partial during the step. It's happening as, the, uh, as that beta elimination takes place. There's bond making to the proton while there's bond breaking between the leaving group and the, what will become the carbonyl carbon, this carbon here. So that's the gist of the general acid catalyzed mechanism. It goes on and does a proton transfer and then we can basically conclude if we were to write the rate expression that a very similar looking rate expression as that which we saw in the previous webcast would be derived and in fact it looks like there is only a very subtle distinction in the way that we write the arrows but really uh, we can see a, a major difference between the general and the specific acid catalyzed mechanism if we look at the reaction coordinate diagram. So in the specific acid catalyzed case we are going to make a fully formed intermediate. There's going to be a minimum on the reaction coordinate diagram because we've fully transferred that proton to uh, the leaving group to make it a better leaving group. That intermediate in in the presence of that intermediate, the existence of that intermediate, 
is the distinction between the specific acid catalyzed case and the general acid catalyzed case where we are writing a transition state structure with partial bonds being made and bonds being broken. The bond between the carbon and oxygen of the outgoing methanol group is being broken while there's a bond that's being made between the oxygen and that proton. Notice that we only have a maximum, we have no minimum. A minimum is an intermediate, a maximum is a transition state structure. That's the difference between a general and a specific acid catalyzed process.